This is our final presentation by Team by the Bay. First, I'd like to say we had two great leaders, Sarah and Amber. You ladies rock. Without you, I don't know what we have done without you two. So thanks. Our key player, Sarah, Amber, Joey, Albert, Ivan, and Owen. This assignment welcomes a wealth of tools and methods to demonstrate the principles of management. The topics are plausible. Each episode featured a well-rounded group of characters working together. Each member of our group had some aspect of the project, time management, information, and human resources. Target management concepts. Sexual harassment in the workplace. Watch what you say in public, boys. Group decision making. There is no I in team. Leadership process. Leaders rise to the top. Human resource management activities. The interview process. Making sure you have the right man or woman for the job. Management process and formulating strategy. Working together as a team. Trader Marks is an American drama set in the heart of St. Pete. Following a young girl named Natalia. Our TV show is targeted for young adults 16 to 30 who are entering the workforce. This show is relatable and provides employees and managers with useful skills. Each episode features a problem and a solution in a fast-paced, high-intensity work environment. Characters, Natalia, star of the show, is an 18-year-old girl and a freshman in college. She is friendly, determined, motivated, and hardworking. She has never had a job before and is unsure what to do, but she wants to make a good first impression. Natalia is currently living at home with her parents, drives a green VW Beetle. She feels that her parents still view her as a child, so she does not want to ask them for any help when making decisions. She is our story's main character. Next up we have Nick. Nick is a 22 year old boy and a senior in college. He has worked at Trader Marks for five years and is an invaluable employee. He sometimes uses his status to slack off, but the managers never seem to say anything to him. He finds Natalia very attractive and wants to make something of it. He is up for the assistant manager position at Trader Marks. Despite his lazy work ethic, Nick is overconfident and sometimes makes Natalia feel uncomfortable because he says inappropriate things to her. Next we have Megan, a 20, year old girl and a sophomore in college. She started working at Trader Marks a year ago. She is friendly and trustworthy. She resembles an average American girl. She is hardworking. She lives alone and has an apartment in downtown St. Pete. A little over a year ago, Megan moved from New York to continue her education at USF St. Pete, where she is attempting to get her management degree. When she hears about the assistant manager position, she quickly submits her application and hopes to beating out Nick. And last but not least, we have Ashley. Ashley is the customer service manager at Trader Marks. She has worked at the company for over 10 years and is and is to be promoted to store manager. She's a studious manager who has all the skills necessary to make her a successful store. She is very kind and understanding to Natalia and generally wants to help Natalia feel comfortable at the store. Ashley is to hire someone to fill an old position as assistant manager and is faced with the decision to pick Nick or Megan. Concepts of our show in episode 2 Sexual Harassment in the Workplace. In this episode, Natalia is doing her daily routine when Nick approaches her. Nick asks her a lot of questions that make her feel uncomfortable. Sexual harassment is becoming a more prevalent problem in society. There are two forms 
of this type of sexual harassment. The first is quick pull crow, which when someone suggests a sexual relation in order to keep a job or be promoted. The second is when a hostile work environment is produced. Examples of inappropriate pictures, jokes, unwanted touching, and comments. Natalia seems to be enjoying her new job at the front desk clerk at Trader Marks. She provides excellent customer service and makes sure to work as hard as possible. Ashley asks Natalia to run to the back to grab paper towel in the storage room. Nick approaches her and asks if she needs any help. Natalia declines. Nick offers, however, continues to stay in the storage room making inappropriate jokes. Natalia feels uncomfortable and lets Ashley know. Ashley meets with Nick to discuss the issue. In episode 2 identifies how managers and a diverse diverse workforce, diversity in the workforce is a difference among people including their age, gender, race, religion, cultural background, education, mental and physical disabilities, sexual orientation, and the other dimensions. This diversity often includes sexual harassment. How we illustrated the management concepts through TV show is a firm action program, a hiring and training program intended to correct the past inequalities for certain categories of people based on gender, race, ethnicity, age, and religion. This program and our show takes extra effort in informing women candidates about job opportunities and paying special attention to gender mixing of employees who have <clears throat> who are to be promoted. In episode two, leadership process. In this episode, Ashley thinks Natalia possesses the traits to be <clears throat> To be a good cashier and wants to promote her. Ashley shows organizational leadership by using her interpersonal skills that involve involves attempts to influence other people in obtaining organ, organizational goals. She sees Natalia's qualifications, job performance, and work outcomes to promote Natalia to cashier. After work, after working at the store for a few months, Ashley feels Natalia possesses many leadership qualities. She gives Natalia her performance evaluation and gives her a raise. She tells Natalia that that she will like her to like her to move up to cash her position. She talks about responsibilities that will be placed on her. What she says that she is confident in Natalia's ability to lead her coworkers to success and set a great example for everyone else. Natalia is extremely grateful and promises Ashley that she would do her best as a cashier. In conclusion, throughout this process, we learn how to work as a team. For example, learning to work with multiple schedules requires a lot of flexibility. Everyone is not a leader, and that's what we learn. Some people need to be given work rather than offer what to do. A few things that would have better benefits or added to this project, more animation and established character voices in each video. As a whole, the project taught valuable management principles. Our show emphasized these principles while remaining true to the overall plot. Group Reflection Over the course of this semester, our team by the bay has worked to write, edit, film, and produce a TV show, Trader Marks. Although we faced a few obstacles, we delegated roles according to everyone's strengths, finding the best way for each person to bring their skills to the forefront. We were able to bring Trader Marks characters to life. The management concepts featured in our show are also the ones that we carry over into our everyday lives. Recommendations for doing a TV show. Have a consistent have consistent contact with your group members. Take at least one day a week to meet with the whole group. Use Bitstrip. We love Bitstrip. It's great for storyboarding and it gets the job done. Pick one leader and co-leader. We had two of the best, Sarah and Amber. Work ahead. Do not wait until the last minute to do things. 
And remember, this is not a one-man team. It takes an entire group to put on a TV show. Next, we have our individual reflections and our teammates' words. Not mine, but theirs. Sarah, this project taught me how to look at other people's idea with an open mind. I also learned that organization is key is a key factor to success. Amber. I was unsure in the beginning whether or not we would be able to complete this big of a task. It was certainly a challenging project, but I learned valuable concepts by working through it. Albert. First, I'd like to say, because of this course, I have become a better weekend manager at Pastor Grill Marina. This course helped me become a better leader by teaching me the fundamentals of management. Joey. Doing a TV show with five people who I've never met before has its challenges. But through it all, we came together and made a TV show I am very proud of, proud to be a part of. I will recommend this class to anyone who is serious about management. Ivan. Management was very helpful for me as a manager. There are certain things I would improve while taking this class. Being in a group is not always easy, but I think we did a great job as a group. Meeting new people and working with them can be difficult, but in the end, I think we ended up doing a great project. Owen. I've learned how to use them in real life. First of all, I have learned what a good manager needs and how he can create a good environment in the organization. <laughs>